Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? It's Nicholas Kidd here and thank you so much for watching today's video. Uh, and yes, I've been gone for a very long time but my college is almost over and I've got tons of things to work on. But as of now, uh, as you can see, as you can tell, I can, I'm filming on the uh, A7 Edge because my camera was ruined by my brother. So thank you so much. Um, anyway, good news and bad news. Good news is that no good uh, the beta for No Good Android 7 is now officially be, uh, been released for several Android users on the S7 Edge and S7 Flat. And bad news is of course uh, presidential elections. Okay, we're, we're not gonna dive into that. But um, yeah, so this is a tutorial of how you're going to get um, Android 7 on your S7 Edge. So later on in this tutorial, um, I will try my best to take as many screenshots as possible and maybe even video footages if I'm able to record um, some of the videos through my S7 Edge. Because as you know, camera is broken so I'm unable to show you guys um, what it looks like. But anyway, this is a very very easy, simple to follow tutorial. There are two files down below. One is for the S7 Flat and one is for the S7 Edge. For the S7 Flat, there is a password to it which would also be included below. And for the S7 Edge, you don't have to uh, input anything. There are two different download links in the description box below. One is um, from Google Drive and the other one is from Mega. And their download speeds are pretty fast, so lucky you. Anyway, now we're gonna shift over to my laptop and we'll go from there. So here it is, this is my desktop. Um, sorry if it's messy because College, yeah, a lot of figures. Uh, anyway, so after downloading the file from the link, this is what you're probably gonna see because it's a, um, it's a zip file. Yeah. So later on, what you're going to do is um, you're going to extract four of these files, preferably in a folder. So you could just um, click on this here and then extract to um, maybe to your desktop. That would be a good idea. And also, one of the tools that we're going to use in this tutorial is called Odin. So Odin is the application that, you know, sort of helps transfer uh, the firmware over to your phone uh, from your laptop. So this is what it looks like. I will um, make sure to include this application down in the description box below. So a few disclaimer before we move on to anything further. Um, what I want to say is make sure you back up all your data that is on your phone because it is going to be wiped and I am for sure so you know please make sure if you have anything important in your internal storage make sure you back up before you continue this process and also another thing I would like to point out is in this options section make sure to only select auto reboot and f dot reset time and if there are any other options that are being selected, make sure to deselect them. So before we can do anything here, step one is to place your phone into bootloader mode. And if you don't already know how to do that, I actually made a video back then. It's a quick and short one. You guys can check it out if you really need help. But one of the most simplest way is to power down your phone first. And the three important key points would be your volume down, standby button, and your home button. So press these three buttons at the same time and once the uh, Samsung logo pops up, you can let go of your uh, standby button. But do not leave your volume down and your home button. And then it would lead you to this bootloader mode and uh, what you're going to do is click. I'm, I think if I'm not wrong, you're supposed to press volume up to agree, uh, you know, to flash, this, flash the firmware that you want. So once you're done being in bootloader, you can start by plugging your phone into your laptop or desktop. And once you do that, it would have uh, something like that. It's 0.com3, which means the program um, recognizes that your device is uh, being plugged in. So there are only a few steps left here and they're actually pretty simple, but it takes a lot of patience. Uh, and you'll understand why I say that. You're going to take four of these boxes here and then each of them stands for something of course. And um, so for the first one, BL, make sure you link it to um, your um, the folder that you extracted earlier. 
mine was um, new folder for yep I know that's a bad name but so BL uh, as you can see it's BL here so definitely match it with BL so this is where you really have to be patient as for AP CP and even CSC these files here are really really huge and sometimes loading in may take up to 5 or 10 minutes and sometimes when you load in um, the whole program it might say that it's not responding or whatnot but just leave your laptop there and let it run by by its own it would definitely work but it does take time so I think that would be pretty much it. I won't be going through the whole process because this is pretty self-explanatory. If it's AP here, then it's AP here. If it's CP, go with CP and CSC and CSC. So make sure do a final check before you um, click start. All right, just to make sure everything is in order. And after that, your phone will auto reboot and you will have Android 7 Nugget on your uh, Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge or flat. So that is pretty much it for this entire tutorial. Hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comment section box below. And if you did enjoy, make sure to give it a thumbs up. My name is Nicholas Kidd and I will catch you guys pretty soon. Bye!